go ahead and start working on solving systems of equations with elimination. And uh, I will have a summary of each step at the end of the video. And if you're brand new to this, I have another video that you can see here that um, you may want to start there. Okay, so the very first thing we need to do is make sure they're both in the form of um, AX plus BY equals C. And we have um, XYC, XYC, ABC. So we're good to go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move uh, this equation underneath. Kind of like it's a subtraction problem. Okay. And so here we go. Now what we need to do is we need to eliminate either an X or a Y. And we're going to have to multiply either this equation, this equation, or both by a number so that we can eliminate something. And here's what I mean by that. Okay, we have 6x and, uh, excuse me, we have x and a y. So in order to get rid of 6x, we need to multiply it by a negative 6. And we're going to multiply everything. So it's going to be negative 6 times x. So that would be negative 6x. Negative 6 times y minus 6y equals, and then um, negative 6 times 21, and let's see what that, and that becomes negative 126, okay, I'm going to cross this out, so now the x's cancel, I have a negative 6 and a positive 4y, so that becomes negative 2y equals, and then negative 126 minus 104, and that equals a negative 22. So let me summarize what I did was basically I multiply it by negative 6, and then I subtracted this times this. It's a little messy, but here we go. Now what we need to do is get the y by itself, so we can divide through by neg with negative 2, okay? And so y becomes 11. Now what we need to do is we need to figure out what x is. And we can do that by plugging it into this equation. So y is 11 plus x equals 21. And um, 21 minus 11, we'll subtract 11 from both sides. x is equal to 10. Now let's check our work very quickly. And uh, we'll check it by plugging it into this equation here. Okay, there's quite a few steps with these. And so now it's going to be um, 6 times plus 4 times uh, 11, okay, equals um, 104, okay, 6, this is 60 plus 44, and it does indeed equal 104. So our answer is correct. Let's work another example. Now, let's work another example, and, and with this example, uh, the reason I'm using this is we're going to have to both multiply both equations by a number so we can cancel something out. Okay, it is in the correct form, A plus B equals C. I'm going to move this one underneath, so we have 5x minus 5y equals 10. Okay, so in order to cancel one out, we're going to need to multiply this by 3 and this equation by 5. So let's go ahead and do that. 5 times 3x, so that equals 15x minus uh, 10y equals 10. And then we have 3 times 5 is, excuse me, it needs to be a negative 3, sorry. So now we have a negative 15x Negative times a negative equals a positive 15y equals 3 times 10. Negative 3 times 10 is a negative 30. Okay, so now we cancel out and then subtract. Or So now we have a positive 15 and a negative 10. We, we don't subtract, but we basically um, um, add these columns together. We go straight down. Okay, so we have a positive 15 negative 10, that will be a 5y equals, and a negative 30, and a 10 is a negative 20. Okay, so far, 
So good. Now let's get y by itself. Uh, it's a multiplication, so we'll do, do an opposite operation, which is division. Okay, and it becomes y equals negative 4. So, let's now take this y negative 4. Let's just go ahead and plug it into this, and let's see if we can't figure out what x is. Actually, I want to plug it into this equation. Okay, you really can plug it into either one. So now we have a y, which is a negative 4. So it's going to be 3x minus 4, excuse me, negative 2 times a negative 4 equals 2. So when you multiply these two together, we have 3x plus 8 equals 2. Okay, now I'm going to move the 8 to the other side, so we're going to subtract 8 on each side. Okay, so now we have 3x, these cancel, equals negative uh, 6, because a negative 8 and a positive 2. Let's divide through by 3, so it becomes x is equal to negative 2. So now, let's check our work. Okay, so we have y is negative 4, x equals negative 2. And now let's go ahead and check our work. And I'll check our work by, we'll put it in 5x minus 5y equals 10. Okay, y is negative 4, so it would be negative 5 times a negative 4 equals 10. And then x is negative 2, so it would be 5 times a negative 2. So that becomes a negative 10. A negative and a negative is a positive 20 equals 10. And 20 minus 10 is indeed 10. So there we go. I hope that was helpful in solving systems of equation with elimination.